Okay, so the other day I posted on Facebook that I am completely useless at cooking omelettes and I asked for tips and I got many, many tips via the Facebook post, but also people contacting me outside of the realm of Facebook, which is very sweet. And, um, you know, if I'm honest with you guys, some of this advice is contradictory. So I've had to try and synthesize this um, in order to make an omelette today, right? Um, now, bear in mind, in my 52 years of life, I have never successfully made an omelette and I may not successfully make an omelette now, but I'm going to give it a go. Now, of course, I've done a bit of chopping beforehand, got my ingredients ready because I didn't want to waste your time watching me very badly chop things. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is make myself a cup of coffee because, um, yeah, I'm just going to need it to get through this experience. So that's that sorted. Now, um, <clears throat> right. So one of the really good tips that I had. Where should I start? Oh, let me show you. Let me show you the ingredients that I have. So I've got uh, three eggs there. Don't worry about the stuff in the blue cups. That's for making a crumble later. Another challenge I've been set. Um, so three eggs, a bit of cheese, onion. Got some mushrooms here. Got the milk, butter, which clearly is very, very important. And here's all of my seasoning, which I've got salt and pepper ready. This is my new pan. I don't know if it's proper for, you know, if it's a good one for an omelette or not. I don't know, but it's non-stick and it's brand new. So I'm kind of hopeful about that. Right. So there's the ingredients. Um, so I guess eggs first. Uh, three eggs is what I've been recommended. I don't know. I guess it's arbitrary. Could make it bigger, but I'm guessing that two eggs would not be very substantial. So three it is. A little bit of milk. Uh, and uh, okay, so one of the tips that I had, which was really good because this is definitely a mistake I've been making before, is to add the seasoning now, um, rather than later. Now, you see, I think, I've been thinking like with scrambled eggs, as I was told once you're not supposed to put salt in while it's cooking because then you get that watery stuff that comes out. So I assumed that the same applied to this. Apparently not, no, apparently the salt is going to help break down the eggs and that will make for a, a more structurally sound omelette. And I think actually that is probably my big problem because whenever I try to move it or take it out of the pan, it breaks up. <clears throat> so salt in before, and this all needs to be beaten quite well. Now here is where I get confused because some of the nicest omelettes I've ever had, and I have to say, there's a lot of really great brunch venues in Johannesburg where I used to live that make beautiful omelettes. I mean, I don't know why South Africa would be a place that they make fantastic omelettes, but that's where I've had my best and favourite omelettes. And one of the things I like about them is you get little flecks of, of white in there. Um, but apparently, according to you guys, that's not great for structural integrity. So it needs to be beaten. Uh, I don't really know about beating. Am I going fast enough? Maybe I should be more vigorous. Um, am I trying to get it really fluffy? I guess I need to get some air in there. Air, I've, I have been told, is important. So I'm going to try and not look at the beating part. But anyway, certainly there's no flecks of white and it's all mixed up. So I'm going to just stop doing that because, of course, the other thing that you are um, very contradictory about is the heat of the pan. So apparently, if I'm reading you guys right, it has to be very hot as it goes in and then go to a cooler temperature and cook for long which is fine if you've got a nice oven, but I live in rented accommodation. I've got a fairly cheap oven and it takes ages for the uh, rings to heat up and, and also a long time for them to cool down. So I'm going to use two rings. So I've got one here that's hot. I don't know what that is, that's coming out. And then I've got another one which is cooler so I can just move it across when the time comes. 
Oh, coffee. Right, this is very stressful. I've never been so stressed cooking something in my life. And if it goes wrong, I'm sure you'll all tell me why, which is fine. I welcome more tips. Learning is a great thing. Hmm. Oh, lovely. Right, so here's another controversy, apparently. I used to cook whatever I'm putting in there, so the mushrooms and the onions, for example, cook it in the pan and then add the egg mixture to that. And that may have been another mistake I was making. Apparently I should cook it first, take it out, then put the eggs in, then add the ingredients. I think that's what I'm being told. Right, so, uh, butter. Butter is clearly the important thing. Everyone mentioned butter. Gotta have butter. God bless the French. Right, so a bit of butter in the pan, let that melt when it does. And then I'm guessing onions first, because they take a bit longer to soften than mushrooms. I might be wrong about that. Maybe it makes no difference. I don't know. I don't know. Wouldn't want to burn the onions though, just soften them, I guess. Um, so, that is happening, but as I said, it does take a bit long. Come on, you. Ah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Take less time if I actually turned the right ring on. Oh dear. Okay, so now we've got the correct ring on. For some reason, this side I always get it wrong. I mostly use that ring up there, you see, so I don't know why I'm making excuses. I just read it wrong. Stupid mistake. Right, okay, so the butter's nicely melting. Um, I'm going to pop the onions in, <laughs> which I've chopped quite finely because one of the other things that I have been told is that if, if the filling is too chunky, of course, that will um, affect the structural integrity of the omelette. And yes, that makes perfect sense, of course. So there's multiple things which I've been getting wrong. So on this occasion, some fairly finely chopped onions, uh, which I'm just gonna let heat there for a bit. Uh, I don't know, this seems a lot quicker on the cooking programs because I'm guessing they cut bits out where you actually just have to stand and stare at the bloody onions for ages. But maybe I've made a mistake already because maybe the pan wasn't hot enough to receive the onions. But anyway, don't know what to tell you about that. Come on, cook. Start making a nice noise. Start giving me softened, buttery onions. Mm-hmm. Yep. Definitely the right ring. You see how terrible I am. All right, throw these away. Keep a nice tidy station. Okay. Right. Well, I am starving, so I'm really hoping this does work. I mean, I'll eat it, whatever it turns out like. But uh, what I'd like is an omelette that maintains its structural integrity and is tasty and fluffy and all of those things, delicious things. Okay, I'm getting a bit of nice onion smell now. So that's softening up. I'm going to add the mushrooms. There we go. which were part of a delivery I had yesterday, which is really nice. So I've got lots of different veg around. Um, okay, so they're sizzling. Mm. Bear with me, we're getting to the exciting part quite soon. Is this gonna work? I don't know. little view of that. Mm. 
Lovely and sizzly. Right. Pop you back there. Smells very nice. Okay, I think I didn't have the pan hot enough. But I'm guessing we can just uh, worry about that. Right, so this ring up here is the low heat. This ring here is the high heat. So I'm doing the softening the onions and the mushrooms on the high heat. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Could be wrong. But it's looking all right. Like that's how I kind of want to see it. I'm feeling like a little pinch of salt. This is complete intuition. I don't know. This might be the killer that destroys it all. But I feel like onions cooking with a bit of salt just brings out the flavour. That's my experience. But who knows? Uh, right. Okay, so that is actually quite nice and soft. I'm getting a bit of mushroom smell, which is good with the aroma. Again, finely chopped, rather than sort of, you know, sliced onion, sliced mushroom, which might, uh, again, make the omelette lose its structural integrity when, it, when the time comes. <laughs> I'm saying all of this like it's going to work out, but it might not. It might not. We'll see. Okay. That is looking good. Now, I'm not going to overcook it because I'm figuring when it's in the pan being cooked in the omelette, it will also carry on cooking. So, I don't want to cook this particular ingredient. Here we go. So, I'm going to take that off. Oh, that really, really smells good. Oh, my God. So, if I pop the little bowl there. Okay, so pan back on the hot. More butter. It keeps telling me butter's the thing. More butter. Ta -da. It's going to melt quicker this time. So I'm going to put some more air into this egg. Hopefully, you know. Okay, so here we go. The pan is hot, the eggs are beaten, the seasoning has been added straight into the hot pan. Go. Now, what I can't figure from all the things that you've told me is when to reduce the heat. So I'm, I figure that I want to get a bit of base done and then transfer it to the lower one which I'm going to do now so that is that Ooh, turn this terrifyingly hot thing off okay so here's a a world of potential errors some people say leave it some people say kind of break it so that the egg falls through um, it's very, very hard to decide. Other problem here is that the pan is probably too big for the rings, so the centre is cooking faster than the edges. <sighs> Guess I'll turn it down a bit more. Time to add the ingredients, which I had from earlier. Guys, I'm so stressed about this. Probably in a very unhealthy way. I should not be worrying quite as much because as I say if it goes wrong it will just be lovely lovely plate of egg and mushrooms and onions and whatever which is always good so there they go back into the 
back in. Apologies for the scraping sound. Some people hate that. I'm going to pop the cheese in. And keep that to the middle, I think, is correct. Now, here's the thing. I haven't grated my cheese. I've got a fairly crumbly mature cheddar and I've done it more in sort of lumps, shavings, maybe you could say. Because I don't know about you, but I like it when, um, you know, I bite into an omelette and there's a, there's a bit that's really cheesy and there's a bit that's not very cheesy. Um, let's see. This might also be my downfall. Another of my downfalls. Okay, so. Keeping all this nice and tidy. <laughs> In the sink with you. Don't need that anymore. Right, okay, so it's on a low heat. I have left it as I was advised to do. Okay, so some people recommended to me that I put the omelette under the grill. Now, unfortunately, this does not have a metal handle, so I'm not going to risk that. This one's off my own back. I don't know, but I'm figuring if I put a lid on it, it's going to send some of the heat back down. So that's going to cook the top of the omelette faster. Because I think one of my fears is that if it cooks just only from the bottom, that the surface of the omelette's gonna burn before the middle bit's cooked. So I'm thinking, don't know if it's right, put the lid on and then that sends the heat down and helps cook the egg. Whew, let's see, let's see. Can we get a plate ready? Would you like to have a look? That's how it's looking at the moment. And she's promising. It is occurring to me, of course, that had I put all of the filling on one side, it would have been easier to fold the omelette over. So I may just have learned an important lesson in fueled omelette making. I don't know. Right. Oh, terrifying. So there's still quite a bit of liquid on the top. Do I do that thing where I sort of let it through? Is that something that I do? Okay, right. What I'm going to remember now is all the people that said to me, be patient. This is me being patient. So, hmm. how long do I have to be patient for? It's a very impatient thing to ask, isn't it? Let's see. I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit thin. I'm worried it's gonna burn. What's gonna happen? Okay, well, um, yeah. It's not sticking, that's good. So I'm going to continue trying to deflect the heat down. It doesn't seem to be doing much to the cheese and it's not doing an awful lot to cook that egg on top there. Oh God. I really just want a nice omelette. on a low heat, so it's okay, it's not going to burn. Well, I suppose it would if I left it long enough, but... In my mind, there are people that just throw an omelette together, it's terribly easy for them. Um, and yet it, it, 
it, at this point, it feels like a very, very involved and complex thing to do. Okay, moment of truth. I'm feeling like this is cooked. I'm going to try and fold it. Now, what sort of technique I'm supposed to use to do that, I do not know, but... No, it's breaking apart. Okay, go. Ah. Right, well. Okay, so have a look here. Um, so I folded it and it split. So that is typical of when I make an omelet, it breaks open like that. Now, maybe it's too much filling. Maybe the omelet isn't thick enough. Um, maybe I didn't leave it long enough because it's not that brown here. Could be a bit browner, couldn't it? But I have to say that's probably the best omelet I've ever made. <laughs> as crappy as it looks, that's probably the best I've ever done. And someone said to me, oh, it should still have a little bit of sort of goo, eggy goo in the middle. And definitely got that going on. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to let that cook a teeny bit longer. I am feeling like this is the point at which I should turn up the heat. I don't know why I'm thinking that. No one advised that. It just does feel a bit like nothing's going on. And I want it to get that little sort of, you know, slightly browned, crusty bit. Now, of course, if I tried to flip it over now, it would be a complete disaster. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but I do think... I do think it's done. I don't want to be eating anything too rubbery um all the eggs cooked that's going to go on a plate <laughs> go on lovely put that over here well um I do like a lot of salt with my eggs. A bit more seasoning. And that is it. Well, it's not the best omelette ever made. It did split, but it looks jolly tasty. Because it probably needs to cool down a bit before I actually do this, but. Oh, God. It's really good. So thank you everyone for your tips. And uh, I mean, I guess I'll try again, but I did get a reasonably decent omelette out of it. There you go. Bye.